Cedar Fair, known by all coaster enthusiasts, picks favorite parks to invest in. These parks are Cedar Point, Kings Island, Canada's Wonderland, and one of the most notable, Carowinds. Carowinds hasn't gotten a new coaster since 2019, so could a new coaster be in store for 2024? What about the next years? Here's my five-year prediction for Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina. Before we dive into future predictions, we need to look at the past. In 2022, Carowinds didn't get much of anything except for a few park upgrades. However, it was announced that in 2023, Carowinds would finally be upgrading the crossroads section of the park. This was the section in the very back of the park that had seen little upgrades and was always the least busy part of the park. Now, crossroads will be known as Aeronautica Landing and feature air travel themed flat rides including some more thrilling rides like a Zamperla Disco and Air Race. This new section will bring some much needed life into that section of the park, with new spinning and inverting rides that were needed in the lineup. In 2021, Carolina Harbor got a brand new matte racing slide. Finally, in 2019, Carowinds introduced the last major coaster they got, Copperhead Strike, a $30 million mock rides multi-launch coaster, a hang time filled launch coaster experience. Before that, the last coaster was in 2015 with Fury 325, so Carowinds usually has a 4-5 to five year gap between coasters. Using my knowledge of space in the park and what the park needs, I've created a five-year plan. Let's dive in. If you look at Cedar Fair recently, you'll know that all of their investments result or have been an upgrade to a previous section. Cedar Point this year is upgrading Lakeside Midway to the Boardwalk. Kings Island is upgrading Oktoberfest to Adventure Port, and Carowinds is upgrading Crossroads to Aeronautica Landing. Therefore, my next prediction is that there will be minor upgrades to a section without many food places and activities, Carolina Boardwalk. This is a small and forgettable section that could use some attention to get guests back into the area. With the recent upgrades and repaint on Carolina Cyclone, Carowinds could add a new restaurant to this area of the park. Even a couple of theming elements to immerse guests into the boardwalk theme would be great. Finally, at the end of 2024, we'll see land clearing start happening in the old Rip Roar and Rapid site. This new coaster after a 5 year gap will be revealed in 2025. In 2025, Carowinds will finally be receiving a long-awaited coaster, a GCI Woody with some wackier elements being possible with the Titan Track. Cedar Fair loves GCI, and a modern Woody with whippy airtime moments is exactly what Carowinds needs. The station would be located in the Thrill Zone section of the park, which, you guessed it, will be getting some upgrades. Just like when other major coasters are added, the area around it will be upgraded. The Thrill Zone is a pretty lackluster area except for Fury 325 being there. It's outdated and doesn't have many great places to eat that meet up to the Cedar Fair standards. This new GCI Woody will hopefully bring new experiences to this area of the park like dining. Being the busiest section of the park when this opens along with the best giga coaster in the world, the Thrill Zone will need more capacity and better buildings. As for this GCI layout, I think that it'll be a definitely twister style GCI with maybe a tight 0G roll thrown in with Titan Track. Carowinds has a lot of room to work with with this GCI. After 5 years, Carolina Harbor will be receiving its next upgrade. Carolina Harbor currently lacks two slides. They have everything except for a good funnel slide and also they lack a water coaster. I can imagine a huge water coaster twisting around Carolina Harbor closer to Copperhead Strike. A water coaster would be a smash hit, being the only one around and in one of the hottest summer destinations in the United States. But even a traditional funnel or bowl slide would be a great and unique thrill to the Carolina Harbor, with the swaying back and forth to cool off. Carolina Harbor looks like a great water park, and these additions in 2026 will make it a top-notch water park. Another one of the biggest complaints about Carowinds is the lack of some necessary thrill rides. The park, even after the Aeronautica expansion, doesn't have a good pendulum ride. The Zamperla Disco is somewhat similar, but that is still on the track. A good pendulum or screaming swing with face down seating and killer airtime on the swings would be a great fit for the park. I wouldn't be surprised if they place a new Zamperla Discovery in the new Aeronautica landing section. I say this because this ride could easily be themed to a flight themed attraction. They could even call it Flight Deck or Top Gun as a throwback to when the nearby Afterburn was called one of those names. A pendulum would be great at bringing people back into the now 4 year old Aeronautica landing section. Finally, in 2027, Vortex, the B&M stand-up in the front of the park that has been hated since Cedar Fair acquired the park, will be removed. Old stand-ups are uncomfortable and have very long dispatches, in addition to low ridership, making it the next coaster to be removed at Carowinds. This is also prime real estate, being next to the water by Nighthawk, is located right next to the front gate, and is on the path to Fury. We've finally reached the last section of this video with 2028. 2028 will be another hit year for Carowinds. 
After three years since the last coaster, making up for the previous larger gap, Carowinds will be receiving their next coaster. This will be a brand new family style coaster. There are three possible models I can see, but let me explain the family coaster choice. Carowinds has two family coasters. One of these is the very old Carolina Gold Rusher that just isn't as thrilling and doesn't have great elements. The other is a more uncomfortable Wild Mouse with Ricochet, which is an okay addition but is still uncomfortable due to the restraints. And this family coaster would be great for Cedar Fair's newer approach, and with the location, it would be a great fit for the Carousel Park area. The first model I could see is a Zane Parallel Spinning Wild Mouse coaster. Not like the traditional Wild Mouse, like the Twister Freeform model that Cedar Point is receiving. This would be a good fit with the spinning trains, but I feel like this is unlikely because of the similarity between the nearby Ricochet. The other Zamperla option is a motorbike coaster. Zamperla has a good relationship with Cedar Fair recently, and a new family launch coaster with unique seating would be a great fit for Carowinds getting guests into launches on coasters. It would stay low to the ground through some trees and by the water. However, I think the best family coaster addition would be the Skyline Trail Runner. Skyline works with GCI on the Titan track, so Cedar Fair wouldn't hesitate on working with them. Also, Skyline's unique trail runner would be great for the wooded setting and water nearby. This section of the park has some minor hills, but the single rail design would be a unique fit for the area and would be the most popular family coaster in the park with tighter elements. They can either do some advertising with the first single rail coaster in the Carolinas. So my final predictions are in. In 2024, Carowinds will get an upgrade to Carolina Boardwalk. In 2025, a GCI Woody and an upgrade to Thrill Zone will be heading to the park. Carolina Harbor will get a new slide, most likely a water coaster, in 2026. 2027 brings a new pendulum attraction and the removal of Vortex, and 2028 brings a new family coaster, most likely a Skyline Trail Runner. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Comment what you think Carowinds will get in the next 5 years, and have a great rest of your day.